Hello everybody. Welcome to introduction to database and SQL course. In this session, we are going to discuss about the select command where class and the necessary operators. Let's begin. So we have seen in the previous session, how we have to work with the select command. The select is the query command. And in order to fetch the records from a table, we'll be using the select command. And while using the select command, we will be using the where class. So let's understand what all we will be using after the where class. Usually, we will write the operators over there. As an example, select star from employee where city equal to some city. So there I'm using the equal to operator. Otherwise, the pay greater than some particular value or the pay in some set of values. Like that, we will be using a number of operators and those operators I have listed over here and we are going to discuss about that. And before I can actually start this, let's actually go and understand what we have did in the last session briefly. So in the previous class, we have understood how to make simple queries. So in our, for example, assume we have a table called student. Now you want to get all the records of that particular table. Then you have to say select star from student, right? Select star means everything from the student. So now we have everything that is coming up here for this particular student class, right? And now, you don't want everything to be selected from that, but you want only few columns to be selected or few fields to be selected. For example, from the student table, you would like to select from name and city. You can get it only name and city. What only name you can actually get it also. Right. And so here you want to get only city. So select city from student, you will be getting uh, that particular one. And if at all you want to get unique cities we will be using distinct keyword select distinct city from student so only unique cities you will be getting from the particular student table right and by using select we can actually do some calculations also so select 4 into 3 so it will give us 12 and for example you have let's say salary right so select name salary into 12 from employee so you will get the name and the what are the salary values there from the table that will be picked and into 12 will be done actually. So that's kind of an annual salary. Select name and annual salary from the employee, right? But we have only the salary per a month given. So into 12 will become annual salary, right? And of course we can use aliases also. And I will be um, telling about these aliases later. So for example, here I can say select name comma salary into 12 as annual salary. So salary into 12, I am actually giving a, um, a result field name as annual salary. So in the output, you will be seeing under the column annual salary, you will get salary into 12. And in the same fashion, DOB as date of the birth, right? And select 22 by 7 as PI. So I want to give the pi value. So now I can say 22 by 7, that is an expression and I'm aliasing to pi, right? So like that, I can actually make use of simple select statement. Now let's understand uh, a where class. So, so far here, I'm not using any where class, but here I can actually give a where class. So select star from student means everything you are getting, but I don't want to get everything from the uh, student table. I want to get all the student details where city equal to Mumbai. So now instead of getting every student from all the cities, I am getting city equal to Mumbai. So here this equal to operator is there. Okay, so we have this equal to operator which we are using. So these are all the relational operators equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to. These six uh, relational operators we will be using over here. 
right? And so other example, select name, F name, city from student where class greater than 10. So I want the students whose class is greater than 10. So only those students who are higher classes, that means greater than 10 classes are going to get printed actually, right? And here, if you can see, so there are, there are relational operators, as I'm telling, equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, and this is not equal to operator. And is is one operator. And then is not is another operator, which are called actually identity operators, is and is not. And then we have, we have in operator. In is there and not in is also there. They are called membership operators. And we have between operator to uh, actually make a range kind of thing. And then we have like operator where we will be using certain wild cards, percentage symbol and underscore symbol. And apart from that, we have actually logical operators or and and this not can be used with is, is not and this not can be used with in also, not in. Some examples, select name city from student where city not equal to Mumbai and class greater than 10. So this will, this query is going to fetch you all the students, uh, uh, student name and city where city not belong to Mumbai, where city not belong to Mumbai and class greater than 10. So that means class equal to 10 or less than that. And city is not, not equal to Mumbai. So only those student details will be get printed. Right. So now let's see select star from employee where salary greater than 1000, 10,000 or job equal to manager. So this is or either this one is uh, true or this one is true. So then, uh, the, the, then those records actually, those matching records are going to get printed. So the and operator, both the inputs must be True actually. So city not equal to Mumbai and class greater than 10. Then only the, this name and city from the student is going to get printed. So R means either this one is to be true or job equal to manager. Right? Now you will get everything from the employee. Either salary is greater than 10,000 or job equal to manager. So this and or operators which are logical operators and means by default both the conditions should be true. R means at least one condition should be true. Okay. So if both the condition are false here, nothing you are going to get. And here, if the uh, uh, here at least one, one condition is false, so then it is going to give us a false actually. So that's what AND and OR in general logical operators. Now select star from student where uh, not grade equal to A. So that means you will get all the uh, students whose grade not equal to A. Okay, so those are some of the examples. And of course, now we have a between operator as well. So for all these things I will be doing on our database, uh, our MyDB database, we will be doing the operations. Let's actually understand initially. So between operator is actually to select between a range. So for example, select star from employee where salary between 5,000 and 10,000. So all the employees whose salary is between 5,000 and 10,000 are going to get listed over here. And select star from employee where salary greater than 5,000 and salary less than or equal to 10,000. So same thing, right? So between is used with the and operator. So the between can be rewritten uh, with this and operator. Right, so whatever we feel comfortable, we can go ahead. Either we can write between or otherwise we can write with and operator. And here, select star from employee where not sal between 5,000 and 10,000. So that means it is going to give the employees whose salary is not in between 5,000 and 10,000. Right, so the not operator we can use like this. And we have in operator also. So in operator actually specifies um, a set of values in a parenthesis. So select star from employee where salary in 5,000 and 10,000. So that means the employee salary, uh, the employees whose salary is 5,000 and 10,000, those uh, employees are going to get listed over here. 
Okay, the same thing I have to, I can write this with R actually. Select star from employee where salary equal to 5,000 or salary equal to 10,000. Either salary is 5,000 or 10,000. Then those uh, employees are going to get listed. Right, so between you can actually avoid by writing and and in we can avoid by writing our operator. So based on the convenience, either we can choose this one or that one. Yeah, select star from city, select star from student where city in Mumbai, Delhi, Kanpur. So that means all the students who cities either Mumbai, Delhi or Kanpur are going to get um, listed over here for this one actually. Okay, so coming to the other operators uh, with where class. So we have the like operator. Okay, so like operator uses two uh, wild cards. One is the percentage, another is underscore. Okay, so this like operator is easy to find a string pattern and from the data. And if this pattern is matched, then uh, that particular uh, records are going to get printed actually. So when you say percentage, it represents a substring in any length. Whereas if you say underscore, it represents a single character. For example, if you see here a percentage, that means anything that starts with a represent any string, any, any string starting with a character. If you say underscore underscore a, so underscore represents a single character, right? It represents a three character string ending with a. First character, second character, and A. A three string character ending with A. So now if you see underscore B percentage, the meaning is represent any string having the second character as B. So after that, anything is anything can be there. Any string having second character as B. Okay. So first underscore is first character. Second, second should be B followed by anything. So if you have three underscores, it presents any three letter string actually. Okay, for example, select star from student where name like A percentage. So all the students whose name starting with A will be coming over here. Select star from student where name like percentage sing percentage. That means uh, any student name which contains sing in between. Okay, any student name it contains sing in between will be retrieved from the uh, student table actually. So here, uh, select name city from the student where class is greater than nine and name like Kumar. So that means in the name, if we have Kumar in between, so that, that is going to come actually. Okay, so now uh, we have is operator. So identity operators, is and um, is not. So now select star from student where city is null. Wherever city is actually given as null, so those student details are going to get compiled. And you can actually apply not as well. Select star from student where city is not null. So that means all the uh, student details where city is not equal to null. So that is actually going to come. And of course, we have seen already in the previous session order by class. So order by city means ascending order. And if at all descending order, we can actually specify DESC. Okay, so by default, order by city means it will take ascending order. And if at all mention, you can mention as ASC, ascending order. If you want from the descending order, we can actually say DESC. So this is about actually uh, what are different operators which will be used with the where class. The same thing has been explained over here. Whenever you have the where class, you will be using these operators. And or operators, these are logical operators between for a certain range in and not in for multiple values of a uh, column. Actually, you can specify multiple values and is and is not or identity operators and like actually searching for a pattern. So you will have two wild cards. So one is percentage and another is uh, underscore. Underscore actually represent a single character and percentage represent zero, one or multiple characters. So A percentage means A starts with, it should start with A, but anything can be there after actually. It can be one, it can be zero, or it can be multiple characters after that. And these are some of the examples. For example, like A percentage, it should start with A. 
like percentage a means it should end with a and percentage or percentage means any value that has r in any position so underscore r percentage means so first character um the first character is underscore and the second character should be r find any value that has r in the second position now if you see a underscore percentage underscore percentage find any values that start with a are at least three characters in length so there should be at least three characters and it should start with a a percentage o so finds any value that start with a and ends with o okay starts with a and ends with a so these are some of the examples of the wild cards so now let's go actually into our db and let's write a few queries uh, to understand this so let's go to the db here so this is mysql so this is uh, the mysql prompt and so what is the db that we are using so now let me ask you let me ask what are the databases which we have so we have created mydb and let's actually use mydb okay so database changed and you can actually say select database now you can see what is the database that we are using here actually so mydb we are using now let's show tables so we have emp and employee table now let's actually describe emp table an employee table has employee id employee name city pay and dob so pay is just like uh, the salary right so now let's select star from employee and let's apply select star from emp so now my employee table has 10 rows actually i have 10 rows we can see 10 rows so all employee IDs are there, employee names are there, cities are there, pay is there and DOB, DOB is also there. Right. So this is normal select sharp on employee. So there are there is no condition actually. Right. So I can actually have certain conditions written here. Okay. So now let me write certain conditions over here. Okay. So what we do is we will actually uh, write certain conditions by using uh, where class so that's the uh, topic so system cls will clear actually this one now what we want to do actually so you have this particular table what do you want to have so now i want to get all the students who are from mumbai right i want to select all the students who are from mumbai so now what to do for that select star from so I want to select all the employees. These are not students. Uh, apologies for that. And select star from employee. I want to get all the employees who are from the city Mumbai, right? So select star from employee. Now you have to write the where class where city is going to be Mumbai, right? So now you have to exactly write how you, your field value is there. City equal to Mumbai. So here I'm using a relational operator and I'm matching equal operator i'm using now how many students are there you have two students sita and sam are from mumbai right and yeah so now let's actually ask one more query one more query so what we do is uh, we will actually select uh, all the employees we'll select all the employees whose salary is greater than 60,000 whose salaries whose pay is greater than 60,000 so how to do select star from EMP where pay greater than or equal to 50,000 okay now let's see how many are there so everybody's salary is 50,000 minimum is 50,000 right now let's say 60 let's say 60,000 so there are eight rows let's say 70,000 so whose salary is greater than or equal to 70,000 so we have seven rows let's say 80,000 so how many are there the salary greater than 80,000 just two people only are there right okay so greater than equal to I have used actually okay 
So now I can actually use uh, one more. Select all employees. Select all employees who are from either Hyderabad or Bangalore. Select star from employees where city where city in operator actually. I can use in operator where city in I want all the employees who city is either Hyderabad or Bangalore. So select star from employee where city in now I have to write here Hyderabad Hyderabad comma Bangalore. So now I'll, I will get all the employees. How many are there? Let's see. Actually, we have six people. Rita, Vikas and Vas from Bangalore and Geeta, Anil and Ramesh from Hyderabad. Right? The same thing we can actually use by writing our operator. Right? So now how I can do that is select star from employee where city equal to Hyderabad City equal to Hyderabad or city equal to Bangalore. Okay, whatever I have written with in, I can actually write with our operator. Select star from employee where city equal to Hyderabad or city equal to Bangalore, either Hyderabad or Bangalore. So both are actually going to get printed. Now see six rows are there. Right, so this is about in operator. And the in operator can be written with R actually. Okay, so now let me actually write uh, between operator. Right, so now what I want to do is I want to get all the employees. I want to get all the employees whose salary is between 60,000 to 80,000. That's a range actually. Right, so now select star from EMP where pay so salary means here it is pay actually pay between i am writing between between so what i am saying 60000 60000 and 80000 yeah now you can see everybody's salary is either uh, greater than 60 and less than 80. So this is the between operator. Right? Now within the range, you are actually asking for the pay. Now the same thing, we can actually write using and operator. Select star from employee where pay pay greater than equal to 60 and pay less than or equal to 80,000. The same thing is about what I have written here in the between operator and I am writing with the and operator there. The same thing I am getting the six rows and again six rows. So between is equal to and actually. Right? In is equal to R operator actually. Right? So this way we can actually make use of this between and in operator. Okay. So uh, is and uh, is not also we can use. For example, uh, mostly whenever we have null values, we'll actually use that is, is null, is not null. But as of now, I don't have any null values actually. Uh, otherwise, I can actually make use of that identity operators. Okay, so now let's actually move to uh, the other operators like like operator before I do with the is. So this like operator. So now let me actually I'll show you how I am going to use this select star from employee. Now I would like to get all the employees whose second letter is I. Whose second letter is I? I have Sita, Rita, Gita, Vikas, right? So now I am going to write like this select star from select star from EMP where where employee name employee name so i want to get all the employees whose name having the second character as i right so now how we have to say like okay 
and then what we are saying the second character right so the first character underscore the second character you want like i followed by percentage like underscore i percentage so what it, it it will do now it will select everything from the employee where the employee name is like first character i am not worried second character should be i followed by anything followed by t or k or whatever it is actually now let's see now i have all the names all the employee names whose second character is i actually right so now for example i want to find uh, the people whose name actually starts with a a percentage right so how many are there so i have just anil is there actually now i have anil coming up now here i want to uh, find the employees whose name ending with uh, whose name ending with a whose name ending with a so what i do percentage a e name like percentage a now you can actually see the name sita ending with a geeta and rita ending with a right so now i want the people whose name ending with yes actually now i will have the vikas and was vikas and was okay so now let me actually uh, do something else also now here uh i want all the names i want all the names which contains uh, a in between a in between so how to do select star from employee where uh, emp name like yeah so i want the name should be a should be there actually so what i do here percentage a uh, percentage and it should have a actually so in any position okay so now what i can do uh, again i will say a right percentage a percentage a is there a is there a is there in every name we have a in every name we have a so everything is getting printed all right so for example i only speak of i so now only sita rita geeta vikas anil have i in that actually okay so this is how we can actually use like uh, like actually so with this percentage and underscore right so what we need to see is actually is and is not actually right so let's actually make up uh, some thing with the select star from employee where where uh, city is not null so everything is going to come because is not null right so i don't have any null actually here everything null actually so in order to make it null so what i do i will actually make uh, my employee so update employee set uh, okay so set pay equal to set pay equal to null set pay equal to null where uh, emp id is going to be let's say i want to do it for ramesh actually query okay and when you actually select everything now you can actually see null now i can use the identity operator now select star from employee where pay pay is null so i am using the identity operator is actually so i told you uh, sql is not case sensitive you can actually have capital or mixed or lower case so anything is fine right so now you can actually see the pay is null for this particular employee ramesh right so this is about the where class and the operators that we are using so we can use uh, relational operators logical operators between uh, then um, uh, membership operators like in and not in identity operators like is and not like 
uh, with the wild cards percentage as well as underscore. So hope you have understood and hope to see you in the next class where we discuss about aggregate functions, etc. Thank you.